On this cold, dark morning last March, two of my staff embarked on what would become a monumental pike fishing expedition at Lake of the Woods. A huge one million acre body of water located on the border of Minnesota, Manitoba, and Ontario, Canada. They made the drive, equipped with all the appropriate ice fishing gear, to Arneson's Rocky Point Resort, a fourth generation family operated facility that's been catering to anglers since 1897. Pike! Here we go! You know, this, this sort of fish with tip ups, you can spread out quite a bit on this vast flat that we're on and you can kind of figure out where these fish are because basically these fish are coming through in waves just looking for, for something to eat. Uh, fish on! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I love catching these things on these rods. It's so much better than hand over fist, especially when they do that. I think it might have a little muscle to it. <laughs> That's the wrong way, my friend. We're using St. Croix rods. I'm medium and, and medium heavy. That's a, that's a pretty good fish. It's just a perfect size. Heading my way. Perfect action for what we're doing. <laughs> there he goes again. You get the, the joy of actually fighting the fish. Coming at you? Especially these fish, because they're, they're coming at you a lot of times, or they're ripping drag. Yeah, he's still on there. It's incredible. And I see the leader. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. That's a nice, That's a nice, nice fish. one. Big fish. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Tyler? Yeah, yeah. Holy cow. Why don't you take the honors here? Look at the that's, size that's of her. That's a good fish right there. Holy cow. What do you think that is about? That's a good, uh, 37, 38? 37, 38, yeah. right in there. Measure it real quick. I hope I'm wrong and it's bigger. You're wrong. I'm wrong. 39. Beautiful. Three and a half. Holy cow. That's a Look nice fish, that. Ty. And that's Impressive why, fish, huh? That is why we like slot limits. That's exactly right. <laughs> a beautiful this fish. This will go back and be caught by somebody else. Continuing now up at Lake of the Woods, from Monster Pike through the ice in late March at Arneson's Rocky Point Resort, nature has good reason for why the lake's pike get so big and are so concentrated in the area where the guys are fishing at this time of the year. We got a fish going here, boy. Lake of the Woods is one of the premier lakes for northern pike fishing in the state of Minnesota. Oh, fish on. The advantage of fishing this time of the year is the pike are staging up in this area on the lake before they're, they begin their spawning runs in the springtime. Well, that's two in about five minutes. Now, that didn't take long. I think part of the reason why we, we're catching these large pike. This is a pretty good fish, guys. I don't think it's as big as yours, though. You don't know until they get to the hole and they, yeah. they let you know them. The lake is in excellent health. Come on, 45 inch fish. And we've got a excellent yeah, year class structures and all of our different species. The guy's arm could get tired doing this. It looks like you're getting tired. <laughs> lake is full of tulipies. We've got strong perch populations. Walleye, saugers, of course. Oh, here we go. Come on. Basically, it's, it's a healthy lake and there's a lot of bait fish. Oh, that's a big Another one. Another nice one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what's contributing to our, our pike sizes along with the, the, the special slot regulations. Boy, it's been a while since I've caught one like this. Wow. Well, you guys got a fishery here. These big pike here at Arneson's have everything they want. That's a 40 inch fish right there. They have vast areas of open water. They have rocks out on the reefs. They have cabbage in shallow spawning areas. That's two monsters. We haven't caught a small fish yet. In an hour. <laughs> Boy, let's let her go. It's an absolute perfect place for a big pike. Flag! It's peeling line too, look at him go. Oh, I'm afraid we might have lost this one. No, well, maybe not. Fish on. <laughs> oh, oh, there, there it is. There. Oh, there. He, saw, he saw the hole. <laughs> Finally realized it was hooked. <laughs> hey, we got another flag, guys. <laughs> Tim, that's you. Things I'll are heating you. up. I think, Let's do oh, it. Oh no, we lost it. I wouldn't say they're moving in. Is it still there? There's no weight. He's got it on again. He got him? <laughs> He's got the fish on over there. <laughs> he came back. It hit it while I was setting it. It about ripped the rod off of my hand. There, he, there she goes. <laughs> this is great. You know, we get up here midday. We're out here for maybe an hour and a half with getting setting up, and that's our third big fish. Here he comes. 
or she. Oh, there nice fish. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Here you go. Another nice fish, fish, man. A little smaller than Nate's, but a beautiful fish. Well, the Arnesons have one right? heck of a place here. Well, it's bigger than we thought, Ty. 38. 38? Yeah, <laughs> that's a small 38. And away she goes. Once again, I cannot stress how happy I am with the slot limits. Thank you. <laughs> nice catch. Time to start drilling and time to start setting up. So, yeah. Some of the benefits with the line we're using, you know, it's a heavier super line, a braided line. The reason we're using that, a lot of times there's an edge on the bottom of the ice, you get that, that abrasion on there and it'll actually wear your line down. Not only that, the size of these pike that we're catching are, are so big, you can actually kind of control them a little bit with this heavier line. Let's just set up this puppy and get out of the wind, Ty. It's getting windy. Yeah. Pike fishing is so exciting. It's I basically call it sport fishing because pretty much we release everything that we catch. There you go. Just like that. There's nothing like seeing that 40 inch northern plus come out of that hole. And there's our windbreak. They're just an incredible fish and the fight is an insane. First one of the day, let's go get him. Typically we use tip-ups, but the last couple days getting the real these in with these St. Croix rods. Yeah, this one's uh, ripping some line. And actually being in full contact with that fish. Fish <laughs> Yeah, look at oh, that thing. Oh boy. And being able to watch the drag scream. Look at him go. I think he realized he's hooked now. It is an incredible fight. You getting heavier? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here he is. Oh, huh? Found a hole. Ah. <laughs> Everybody just waiting for yeah. anticipation. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see them big heads come up. That is so neat. Oh, 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 oh a nice oh, fish. Oh, oh. Good Look start. Look at the size of that, that Tim. That's, <laughs> a <good. laughs> That's a good start. That's a, very a good, good start to the day. Got him? Yep. Look at that right on the side of the mouth. One thing we should talk about is when you're using circle hooks, do not set the hook. Make sure you don't set the hook. With this technique, all you have to do is just tighten the line up. Yeah, because they set themselves. They set themselves. That is a beautiful fish. Nice fish. I mean, that fish right there is going to be a monster next year. He's there. I'm going to get him. Oh. He's got some weight, Nate. Yeah. There you go. This is a pig, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, what oh man. Did you catch? I don't know what I got here, but this is at least the most powerful one I've had. Here he comes. Here he comes or not. I haven't seen it. It's big. It, it's big. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. This fishing is incredible here. Oh, there's the leader. Oh. <laughs> what do you got there? Oh my, 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 my. Aha! That's what this is. We up to 41, 42? Right there. Oh, 40. 43! <laughs> <laughs> 43! Nice fish. 43. A guy fishes his whole life, and if he gets within eight inches of this, he's done well. Nice, nice fish. My goodness. That's, a, that's that, another species right there. That is, that's a freak of nature, but not in this lake. Huh. These are pretty common, aren't they? Yeah, they're awesome. there. Right? That's a fish of a lifetime. Guys, I'm going to let her go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, man. There she goes. She goes. You know, Paul, just the excitement of this. Every time that thing goes up, you don't know what you're gonna get. No, you it don't. could be a 30 inch or it could be a 48 inch. The anticipation just gets to you. It's great. Tip up, guys, tip up. The peeling line. It's going this way, though. So it looks like it's... There's definitely some action going on here. There's weight there. There he is. Fish on. <laughs> Should we see? Yeah. This is so cool. Oh, woo, 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 woo. oh, there he goes again. Those pike are just so powerful. Oh, no. Ooh. 
nice fish. Oh, nice fish. Nice oh, fish. man, that's a big one. <laughs> this is a big one, Nate. Ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Look at that fat guy. <laughs> boy, that one's over 40, don't you think? Oh, shoot. Right there. Just under. 39 and a half. 39 and a half. Nice fish, Nate. Look at that fish. That's amazing. Look at how fat she is. Look at my hand. You got big hands, too. Hey, we got a flag over there, guys. There's a fish on it, too. All right, Tim. Me and you this time. Well, I see that rod, Ben. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. This one's got some. Who's got some weight there, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! They can run <laughs> like they don't even think they're hooked. <laughs> this is a big fish. I have a feeling coming right back to us now. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish, Tim. Here he comes. Look at that! <laughs> Woo oh! Oh my goodness! Look at the size of that girl. Whew. She is a beauty, huh? Wow, that is just incredible thick across the back. You can't go a lot of spots and catch pike like this. <laughs> little guy. There. A little guy. A 30 little. inch fish and a little guy. Hi. Nice We're fish. spoiled. There it is. There's a fish. <laughs> big fish, Tim. That's big. Oh. Fish on. Yes, sir. That's <laughs> a big one too, Ty. She comes. He doesn't like that. Oh. Got her, got her, got her, got her. <laughs> Look at that. They are such beautiful, beautiful fish. That's thick across the back. I mean, I love walleye fishing, but if you get into these things, I mean, it's a trip of a lifetime to come up here and catch one of these, and we're catching multiple fish like this. It's just incredible. Oh, big fish. Oh. Nice fish. Um, Another nice one. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> that is beautiful. Another trophy to be released. This is a oh, heavy, heavy, oh, heavy Oh, nice fish, fish, Nate. Nice fish. How about that one? <laughs> How about that one? Paul, Tim, you guys have such a great place here for these monster pipe. So why did I go through all the trouble of sending my crew to Lake of the Woods to film a pike fishing show that my cotton picking schedule didn't allow me to join in on? Ice fishing, in general, is a wonderful sport, which I always try to promote whenever I can. It's a great way to go outside with a group of friends or family, be active at a time of the year when too many people just hole up inside and have a blast catching fish. It does take a little specialized equipment, but compared to other hobbies, the financial investment is really very minimal. Then again, you can totally skip the do-it-yourself approach size fishing by going to full-service destinations like Arneson's Rocky Point Resort. I mean, why not consider a winter vacation to experience the wonders of a truly unique angling adventure at a comfortable, quality, affordable resort that caters to every need and takes care of it all very safely. But you know me. My biggest motivation in pointing out Lake of the Woods was to take away the guesswork and offer one place where you can go experience some of the greatest trophy pike fishing on earth if that's what you want to do. In winter, I simply can't name another place where your odds for catching so many monster gators are better. Boy, it's been a while since I've caught one like this. Look at the size of that! I can assure you, gang, there was no trick photography about it. Every huge fish you saw the boys catch were taken in only three short days of fishing. Just imagine that kind of action with your own group of friends and family, or the look on a young kid's face after accomplishing a catch like that. It's always a wish for you all, my friends, and that's why I brought you this amazing story, Through the Ice for Monster Pike. Now you know, so don't be blaming me if you don't make the call and keep regretting it for the rest of your life. I'm Babe Winkleman. Thanks for watching, and until next time, everybody, hey, good fishing.